Our next lesson is for 2.3. It's about multiplying binomial special products. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to call about um, perfect squares. So things I'm talking about are things that look like 4x plus 3 quantity squared. Basically, anything that looks um, a binomial with two things added together or one thing subtracted from the other squared. Um, we're going to learn how to do these quickly. So I'm going to write it out in words, then I'm going to write it out as an equation. A binomial squared is a trinomial. The first term is the first term squared. The last term is the last term squared. The middle term is 2 times the first times the last. Or another way to say it is 2 times the product. I want you using this shortcut because it will save you an immense amount of time. I'm going to do all three of the above using the shortcut. Then I'm going to do the first one without the shortcut, how you were supposed to do them on the last lesson. So let's do it. So a binomial squared is a trinomial. A trinomial has three terms. Okay. First term is the first term squared. 4x times 4x is 16x squared. The last term is the last term squared. 3 times 3 is positive 9. The middle term is 2 times the product. 3 times 4x is 12x. 12x times 2 is 24x. One thing I want to let you know is this sign is always positive. Okay, that sign is always positive because if I have a positive times a positive, I'm going to get a positive. If I square something, it's always positive. This middle number, I mean middle sign right here, is the same as it's in your binomial. So if I have a positive sign there, I'm going to end up with a positive. If I have a negative sign, I'm going to end up with a negative. So let's do the second one. Binomial squared is a trinomial. First term is the first term squared. The last term is the last term squared. The middle term is 2 times the first times the last. 2 times the first times the last. Last sign is always positive. The middle one, I copy. And the last quick example. First term squared, a squared. Last term squared, b squared. Middle term, 2 times the first times the last, 2, A, B. The last sign is always positive. The middle sign, I copy. Oops, I goofed up on this example. Let's fix it. That one is actually positive. I use the right pin, same pin I used before. Here's something I do not want to see. If I see this it's going to automatically be wrong. If I see something like 2x minus 3, and you give me 4x squared plus 9, that is wrong. 
Okay. The first term's right. The last term's right, but you miss the middle term. Biggest point here is a binomial squared is always, 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 always going to be a trinomial. I need to have three terms. Okay. What you're doing is you're missing the middle term, um, our outer and inner multiplications. I told you I would do the first one the way that um, you were supposed to do it earlier lessons. And that is 4x plus 3 quantity squared. In earlier lessons, I would have expected you to write it out as 4x plus 3 times 4x plus 3. And I showed you multiple ways to multiply this thing out. Um, we're going to use the FOIL method. First, outer, inner, last. So my first, 4x times 4x is 16x squared. My outer, 4x times 3 is 12x. My inner, 3 times 4x is 12x. And then we have our, let me see if I can get a different color pin. I've already used one that's kind of like that. Sorry about that. Um, last, 3 times 3 is positive 9. And anytime you square a binomial, the middle terms are always going to add together because they have like terms. So my final answer here is going to be 16x squared. 12 plus 12 is 24x plus 9. And that's where the two times the first times the last came in. This 12x is the first times the last. 3 times 4x is 12x. And then I have two of them. That's where it comes in for that special pattern. That's the first special pattern I have is something where I have binomials that are perfect squares. The next pattern I have are what are called conjugate pairs. And I'm going to define those for you. Conjugate pairs. That'd be something that has the same terms in the um, binomials, but one has a plus and one has a minus. So like 4x plus 3 times 4x minus 3. Um, 6x minus 2 times 6x plus 2. As long as they have the same terms and the only th think that they have opposite signs inside there. Okay. The rule for here, conjugate pairs, it's first term squared minus last term squared. First term, A squared, minus last term, B squared. First term, 4x would become 16x squared. Minus 3 times 3 is 9. 6 times 6 is 36 with the x squared. Minus 4. So that's the shortcut I want you to use. It makes it nice and quick, really easy to do. Um, I'm going to show you where it comes from. I'm going to do the first one. I'm going to multiply it out the way you would have done it last week. A plus B times A minus B. So again, we're going to do first, outer, inner, last. First is A times A, which is A squared. Outer is A times negative B, which would be negative AB. Inner is A times B, which is positive AB. And last, B 
times negative b is negative b squared. These middle terms combine, they cancel each other out, and I'm left with just a squared minus b squared. So those are the quick rules that we use to do these. Um, I'm actually going to go to the IXL, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to um, do. So you no, know, you probably can't see that right there, but I'm going to click on the special cases, and I'm probably going to end up blowing up the screen here a little bit so you can see it. It says, find the product, simplify your answer. So we know it's going to be, this is a conjugate pair. So it's going to be first term squared. I need to move my keyboard because I actually have to type now. Um, so 4 times 4 is 16. J squared minus last term squared, which would be minus 4. This is a trinomial. Binomial squared is a trinomial. First term is the first term squared, 16G squared. Um, I'm using the shift six, the little caret symbol to get up there without having to click the button. The middle term is two times the product. The product is negative eight G. Um, actually, let me, I will try to, um, I'm going to have to unblow. Let's see. There we go. Be able to see both on the screen now. So two times the product. Well, my product is 4G times a negative 2. That's going to be negative 8G. I'm going to take that whole thing and multiply it by 2. And that's going to give me negative 16G. I expect you to do this work in your heads. It's multiplying two usually single-digit numbers together, putting the letter at the end, and multiplying it by two. So I'm going to go back to just the IXL. And so my, my answer there is negative 16G. And last term squared, plus 4. My checks I'm going to do is, hey, the middle sign has to be that negative, and it is. And I always have a positive sign at the end. Click Submit. This is a conjugate pair. First term squared, 4C squared, minus last term squared, which would be minus 4. Squared. It's a trinomial. 9N squared. The product is 3 times 4, which is 12, with a negative, which would be negative 12, times 2, which would be negative 24, with the letter. The last term squared is always a positive. That's going to be positive 16. Conjugate pair, first term squared, 9Q squared, minus 9. First term squared, 16G squared. Product is 8G, 2 times that is 16G. And the last term squared would be 4. Conjugate pair, first term squared, 16y squared, minus last term squared, which would be 4. Perfect square, v squared, uh, let's see, fix that, v squared minus 2v. So negative 1v times 2 would be negative 2v plus a 1. Conjugate pair, 4G squared, minus 1. Oops, i got to come out from the up top, minus 1. Um, first term squared, B squared. Product times 2 would be plus 4B. Plus 4. Conjugate pair, first term squared, minus... Last term squared, 4 times 4 is 16. 
Okay, four minutes and 23 seconds to get to the 70. So not too bad there. Um, and that is the only one that you have for this lesson. Multiply two binomials in special cases. So hopefully that's enough for you. Have fun.